It's time to clean out Doughboy's junkyard of six O's. How many do you have now? One, two, three, outside. Four, five, six, Four. seven. Four, seven. You got five at the shop and two at the house? Now we can eliminate one of them. Yeah, I can go pick up a new one tomorrow. Single cab, long bed, six O's, ZF6, dually. Uh, 24 inch fuel Mavericks. So Doughboy build a dually because he has a very nice SEMA truck. And I think he needs a dually to tow it. Cool. Maybe this thing will evolve into a dually because we had a buyer for the Mega Cab and the buyer kind of flaked. So now we will be keeping the Mega Cab and maybe putting something right here. We've acquired the gooseneck. Or two next, oh boy. Dealership for skidsters. A dealership for skidsters? Yes. Are we buying a skidster? I think we might need one. Is either that or a forklift? The forklifts are expensive. A skid steer can smash things up. A skid steer, we can do more stuff with. Very valid. A skid steer that probably shouldn't be on my trailer. Well, I guess my trailer can hold it, just not when it's ramped up the trailer at 100 mile an hour and the gate gets snapped off the back. Of my the we can't put a bulldozer on this trailer. If there's a bulldozer, what? And it would go up, but I don't know how the axle would hold. And we're inside the ditch. And the trailer barely makes it. Well, we're off to grab a bobcat because, like I said, Doughboy has too many 6.0s, and a Doughboy and a Brandon can't lift up a fucking axle. We've acquired something that might make the job a tad bit easier, but now we have to sit here and wait for these gas pumps to pump all the fuel into this and into that. We might not fill that up quite yet because this is going to take forever to fill up my truck. I think we can get two more of these on the trailer if we really tried. I just don't know how the trailer would like it. I know. My bags are crushed because that's a heavy machine and I really need to uh, invest into like a 5500 mega cap and make those or just get 5500 suspension for mine and reinforce my frame. But let's get that off the 6 on there. Do we use the ramps or do we not use the ramps? Fuck the ramps. I'm all fucking fucking around anyways. That's a very valid point, although we are going to use my ramps because I'm not trying to backflip the bobcat when it comes off the trailer. Oh my God! It's almost like he has a race truck. I think that's what we're picking up with the Bobcat. We just sold the standard cab. And uh, now, just one ramp will work, right? Yeah. We're gonna film because Brandon needs money, and Dilma needs money, and the trailer and the So yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's my center console, bro. It's gotta go in the SEMA truck. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ. That was for my SEMA truck. I'm on the dash, that's for the SEMA truck. Yeah. And uh, don't worry, I'll even sign it. Five minutes we've had this thing off the trailer. And uh, <laughs> don't worry, 
Get in there. <laughs> the steering wheel's bent. <laughs> Not saving that thing now, am I? I mean, we could probably still save if I bent the cab back. It's just a little taco. <laughs> it's kind of taco. Looks like Doughboy's hitch would have snapped off his fucking tail. <laughs> I was trying to pull Doughboy's cab off because he wanted to take the cab inside and pull the rear off of it. And he needed that dash for the big truck because his dash was a little bit janky. And that one was bent. Um, the, the truck was a key branch. Yeah, it's kind of clapped now. It's got a flat bottom steering wheel. Now, they made those factory from That's Ford, curved bottom. It's a slant it's bottom. It's flat bottom and angled in. So, you know, when you're sitting there, you can actually hold the steering wheel. Shut up. Uh, you're done. Yeah, we got bigger problems too. The local crackhead from from down there. The local crackhead came He's already coming to steal bolts. He's got this $80,000 freaking single cab long bed race truck, and he needs to steal a bolt off Doughboy's $80 six L. You said what? Okay, so you see that shock right there? Well, your dumb, your dumb ass cut into the actual shock. It, it was all good and dandy, and so I'm cutting, and all of a sudden, the motherfucker blows up on me. I mean, yeah, you can't cut the actual the, the body of the shock. I didn't. You could cut the shaft. Look, look where it got cut on that side too. Yeah, well, you cut a little bit too low on that side, though, boy. You shouldn't have cut that low. I'm going a little too low. We need the here. torches. <laughs> Hey. Don't snap your fingers on me. Torches. Huh? 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 Blue truck, out! <laughs> hey, blue truck, out! Do it, out! Let me get the key so I can drive it out. No, no, you roll the motherfucker out. No, no, it starts. They just, they just don't know that yet. Ooh. I gotta cut an axle off real quick. Right. So it fucking explodes. I don't need to go outside for it. <laughs> oh, they cut. What, what actually cut out? <laughs> Fucking ugly ass blue one. I mean, you forgot something. I mean, fuck, be my guest. Hold on. Actually, no, we're not even playing with that around the powder coat. No touch. Oh. Dude, you're gonna <laughs> fucking gas me out. You don't touch me torches. No touch. No touch. Stop. Dude, I've been maced before in my life. I don't want to do it again. Builds four length lifts for a living. Some reason I can't use torches today. It was also very windy outside, but it doesn't affect me. I'm going to use them. Why, why is my blade flying off the saws? Why does Doughboy have me out here in 30 degree weather? It's not 30. It's like 50. Doughboy. This is a nightmare. Oh, we gotta lock it. Look at my ramps. The axles are now somewhat out of the chat. This right here is a project for another day. Too fucking hot! What are these going on, you said? My Jeep. My Jeep? Yeah. Definitely 
got carried away. Axles are over there. The cab shell kind of is over there. Um, and we have a pretty good fence going here at Double Shop, but it's crazy because the parking lot's getting emptied out. So here's the aftermath in last night's disaster. And I would say that was pretty extreme. It took a lot longer than I expected. I was like, yeah, it'll take us 20 minutes to load it up. No, we worked for like five hours last night. And then we made a huge mess of the parking lot, which is now covered in oil dry that we have to clean up. But there's a 6.0 um, over here on top of a 38 inch Fury tire that's practically brand new. Besides it has a slash inside of it. Two axles. A junk dually that just gets neglected and never, ever gets looked at. Anyways, that's going to end the video. Hope you guys liked it. We had a lot of fun destroying things. And who knows, maybe next time the Bobcat Force will go through this one or that one. See you, bye.